Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the properties of the noble gases. Let's start off with the obvious bit then. So the noble gases are obviously all gases. If they're gases, it means they've got low melting points and boiling points. You'll notice that helium is used in balloons, therefore in general they have low density. However, what you need to know is how this changes as you go down group zero. So if we start off looking at the melting point then, so if we go down from helium, neon, argon, krypton to xenon, you can see that the melting point is increasing. It's going from minus 272 all the way up to minus 111.8. So the general trend is that the melting points increase as you go down group zero. Now what they might do is ask you to predict one of the properties. So they might give you a table such as this and say, what is the melting point from neon? Now, the easiest way to do that is to take the average in between the two. So if you add minus 272.2 to minus 189.4 and divide by two, it will give you pretty accurate representation of what the melting point is. So in this case, it's minus 461.6 divided by two gives me minus 230.8. And the actual melting point is minus 248.6. So it's pretty close. If we look at the boiling points, you can see a similar pattern emerging. So in general, the boiling points increase as you go down group zero. So for example, if they ask you to do argon, to work out the boiling point for that, you can see that neon is minus 246.0 and krypton minus 153.4. So if you add those both together, which gives you minus 399.4, Divide that by two and it gives you minus 199.7. The actual boiling point for argon is minus 185.8, so again, pretty close. Density also increases as you go down group zero, but we'll get onto that in the apply question. So very similar to what we've just talked about, describe what happens to melting points, boiling points and density as you go down group zero. Density, you can use the table on the right to help you, boiling points and melting points we've just talked about and then predict the density of Krypton using the table to help you. Question one is worth three marks, so you need to just simply describe the trend for melting point, boiling point, and density for three marks. And question two is worth one mark. Have a go at it, pause the video, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So if we start off with question one then, describe what happens to the melting point, boiling point, and density as you go down group zero. You should remember from what we've talked about that the melting points increase. If the melting points increase, so do the boiling points, so that's your first two marks. And then if you have a look at the properties of density, so helium 0.164, neon 0.899, nice and simply you can see it's increasing. So the density increases. In terms of predicting the density of krypton for question two, again, what we said, add the ones above and below together. So 1.661 added to 5.860 gives you 7.521. Then divide that by two, gives you 3.761. Notice how I've used three decimal places because the question's giving you the information in three decimal places. Get used to doing that. So if you got 3.761, that would have got you your mark. Any value between two and five would have actually been accepted. As long as you're going somewhere in the middle of those two points, you will get the mark. And just for curiosity purposes, the actual density was 3.740. So our prediction was pretty damn close. Okay, that brings this video to an end. There is a review question, which says, use the table to describe the trends for the noble gases, and then predict the properties of radon, which is in the next period down below xenon, as you can see in this table here. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can have a look at my latest video up there. You can also have a look at my website if you haven't seen it before, and you can click on subscribe down below. Bye now.